all right guys so welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about drive shack ticket symbol ds but before we get into it please do hit that like button hit the subscribe button please help us to reach a thousand subs by the end of the year and hit that naughty bell for the latest band opportunities we recently recommended nordstrom which is up 150 percent since we've recommended tesla on the back end of september which is up 100 percent since we've recommended pic as well probably one of the hottest stocks this week the most talked about stock it's doing a merger of xo fleet and it is up almost 100 percent in a matter of weeks but i recommended the stock on the back end of september so um what we want to do is get you into these stocks early so you don't miss out on the maximum gains so it'll be up uh, almost 100 percent right now if you did buy in when we told you to but yeah without further ado um let's get into this video and by the way i'm not a financial advisor so please do your own due diligence before buying into any stock but yeah today we're going to be talking about drive shack tick symbol ds it's currently sitting us sitting at three dollars and 14 cents as i speak and as you may know it's been getting a little bit more attention this week um based off the videos of larry jones and jack spencer um i've been in the stock for around three weeks now now and based off the recommendation of my friend I also shout out to him and yeah um for those who didn't know drive shack is basically um it's like top golf um they have like a golfing range um they're also looking to expand but i'll get into that um later on and yeah um they're just starting off they um were created in 2018 and um as a penny stock i do feel like this has a lot of room to grow so um, i'm gonna get into drive shack um what exactly um they do um, how they want to expand and also the finances as well and let you know my take on this stock personally. I'm just going to read to you the instance definition of Drive Shack. So it says Drive Shack is a leading owner and operator of golf related leisure and entertainment businesses. And for those who didn't know, Drive Shack recently opened the Orlando um, venue last Friday. And the great thing about Drive Shack is that because it's outdoors, it allows the regulations regarding social distancing and COVID-19 to be relaxed as it is easier to social distance um, outside than anywhere else. So I feel like this will allow Drive Shack to open up their venues a lot quicker than the other leisure and entertainment businesses. And um, based off this, this will mean a lot of people will want to go to Drive Shack compared to somewhere like the cinema, which um, many aren't open now, especially in the UK, where I'm from and um, based off this drive shack will be um, making a lot more revenue than these other businesses as well because I'm um, checking out a lot of people recently have been to drive shack during this pandemic um, and this because they've been allowed to be open um, being outdoors and I feel like um, this will only help um, with drive shacks publicity because um, a lot of people who have went have said they like drive shack and I feel like this is key um, because you wouldn't invest in a company that people didn't like. So this um, helped me invest into Drive Shack. Um, the company being good, they said they liked the food, they liked the entertainment, um, they liked the setup of the place as well. And I feel like this is key. Um, one of the key reasons I invested into Drive Shack is because people were keen on Drive Shack. And I feel like um, they're only gonna expand from here. Um, Although the COVID um, is not a nice situation, I feel like um, sometimes it is a blessing in disguise for some of these companies like Drive Shack. Um, it's put them on the map as they're outdoors, as I mentioned. And I feel like from here, they will only go up. Um, sitting at $3.14 right now, I feel like this is a very, very, very decent price to get in that. Um, personally, um, $3.14, um, I'll only put a quarter of what I intend to put in, then average down on the dips because stocks don't go up forever. So this is the approach I would take the other three quarters, buy on any dips. If you see it rallying a bit, then um, um, buy in before it takes off. Because um, for those who didn't know, um, the price target for Drive Shack next is $5. Um, $5 is the next price target for Drive Shack. And I feel like it's very feasible. It will reach them um, based off how this company is going, the publicity is getting and where they can go. And um, I'm gonna get into these stuff um, in a few minutes on where Drive Shack can go. But first, I just want to talk about their financials. And regarding Drive Shack's financials, um, it says here that the quarter three revenue for 2020 was $17 million, which I think is very good. Um, and Drive Shack does have a strong balance sheet to show for this as well, to show for the financials. And I feel like this is one of the reasons I'm invested as well, this strong balance sheet. And I feel like um, I don't usually invest in companies like these that aren't profitable, but I feel like Drive Shack um, are on the way there. Um, of course, COVID has slowed them down. But something else I want to read to you is that um, the, quarter, the quarter three revenue averaged 70% of the 
quarter one revenue and the walk-in revenue in quarter three averaged 88 percent of the quarter one um, revenue and um for me the 88 percent of the quarter one revenue just shows just shows that even though the pandemic has um taken its toll and is getting worse um it hasn't stopped drive shack's revenue because 88 percent is very good is a very good number especially in these circumstances so it still shows that drive shack are able to pull strings and bring money in because we've seen companies revenues drop by more than half during this pandemic but for them to keep 88 percent compared to quarter one just shows that um from here on out especially when this pandemic is gone we can see this blow past our 100 mark and that was one really exciting thing that i read and one reason i'm investing in drive shack another exciting thing about drive shack is the introduction to pottery venues in 2021 they said they want to open seven pottery venues in 2021 and for those of you who don't know what pottery is um it's basically indoor golfing and um, what they do is they just customize it and make it their own you can have a bar you can have food there's everything there so it's entertainment and food as well and you know some people like to do things drunk you know drunk bowling is a thing so yeah um i feel like this is one way people will um be attracted to drive shack because we have one in london called put shack and that is a very very nice scenery very beautiful i feel like if drive shack can pull this off and this will only cause the revenues to fly through the sky and seven venues as well that is very optimistic but i'm sure they'll be able to pull it off and that also shows the optimism to expand um and for those who don't know drive shack aren't direct competitors with top golf but I feel like um, this is the opportunity to put themselves on the map like like Top Golf. Um, not that the competitors with Top Golf, but they want to get the recognition like Top Golf. And I feel like um, they'll be able to do this in the next one to two years to come. So this is why I feel like at three dollars, Draft Shack is very cheap. And um, for anyone that hasn't got into it now, I feel like this is the time to get into it if you do want to get into it. But do your own due diligence first. Uh, make sure you're happy with the company's fundamentals but i'm happy with the fundamentals i'm happy for the going i'm happy with the plan they've got the vision they've got for 2021 regardless of the pandemic they do want to open these new venues get these venues up and running for when the pandemic is gone um and this means that they're anticipating a lot of customers they're anticipating a lot of walking customers events as well um for 2021 and 2022 onwards so um this is why I, one of the reasons i'm excited to um, be an investor in Drive Shack, and I like where this company is going. And also, one thing they put in their presentation is that 78% of millennials will rather spend money on experience versus buying something, and 70% of consumers prefer to dine at an entertainment formal format versus typical casual restaurant for group occasions. And I feel like this is very true, especially coming out of this pandemic. Um, a lot of people do want to get out there and do want to do things that entertain them rather than do other things. I feel like entertainment will be the key thing. You have family outings, you have friends getting back together for the first time in a long time. I feel like this is very key. A lot of people haven't been able to see their friends in a long time. I feel like that's what they'll want to do, especially the younger people. And even though you might think golfing is an old people sport, um, Drive Shack, um, they attract young people, um, a lot of young people. Um, for those who don't know, Top Golf, um, they do have a lot of young people there. You don't need to be experienced at golf at all in order to play Top Golf. You're just there for a laugh, you're there for fun. And I feel like this is what um, Drive Shack are trying to do. They're trying to get people together for a good time. And as I said, um, people haven't seen their friends in a long time or hung out properly. So um, this is this will be the great place to hang out with your friends and have a good time, especially the food there. You have the bar and you have the golf the mini golfing as well and i feel like um, this will be very good um drive shack will only see more customers from here especially these seven venues these seven venues are something that except it's something that is exciting me a lot because that just shows um how much they expect in 2021 um, they're trying to put themselves out there they're trying to put themselves on the map and i feel like it's one of them cases where um people only see the true value of drive shack when they hit the five dollar mark then the ten dollar mark then the fifteen dollar mark then they'll see Oh, this company is actually a serious company on this investor presentation i'll link it below but it's a very good detailed investor presentation on where this company wants to go so i was talking about the price targets before and um regarding drive shack um b riley raised the price target to five dollars fifty cents this week and um if you're under the raid on friday um it has gone up a bit um people have been um 
looking at drive shack now they want to get in early so um you've seen you'll see a steady rise in the drive shack share price especially today i'm pretty sure as i'm talking right now the price is probably spiked um and also um btig also raised their price i'll go from three dollars to five dollars so i feel like um three dollars right now is the current support um and the next support we want to see we want to see that four dollar support then the five dollars and i feel like it can hit that five dollars very soon as drive shack does gain more attention as more people like larry and jack um do make videos on it and it gains more investor attention as well and the most promising thing is even though we're in a pandemic um the performance of the q3 result based on the q3 results last year have gone up so um they've gained 15 percent extra revenue from green and cart fees 10 percent daily fee rounds 48 percent on their member sales and 25 percent on the total rounds so just the fact that this company has only gone up from 2019 when we didn't have a pandemic um it's only gone up in the pandemic so that is one thing to be excited about as well so it shows that um this pandemic hasn't slowed down the progress of dry shack or maybe it has slowed it down but we're seeing improvements these are not negatives they're all positives especially the membership fees which has gone up 48 percent that is something to be really excited about it shows that people do want to um have fun at drive shack people do want to go to drive shack people do want to take their families and friends to drive shack and um i don't have any much more to say about drive shack um i do like everything i've read in this investor presentation this company is looking very very promising if you haven't already um just make sure to start buying into your shares now small small and um averaging down or averaging up if you get some extra income because i feel like this company will be big um, i'm expecting it to touch that ten dollar region or get close by 2021 2022 we could see that 15 dollar mark 20 dollar mark very very soon so that is almost 10x your money so yeah if you did enjoy this video um hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel help us reach a thousand subs by the end of this year and also hit that naughty bell for the latest brand opportunities and we're here to drop you gems and we're here to help you make money and we're here to help you hit those home runs so yeah and we'll catch you in the next video